Right now, I just want to take a few moments to remind us of who Senator Collins is and why she's so important today and why across the state she's going to be visited by hundreds of us from here in Maine asking her to do the right thing regarding these nominees. So Senator Collins has a long history of defending our climate and speaking up against it down in Washington. Yes, there's many of us here in Maine that have wished she has taken stronger action, and we're going to be calling on her to do so. But she has been a voice amongst the Republican Party to remind us all that that climate science is clear and that we need to take action now. And so now we need her leadership more than ever. Who's about to be appointed, um, if she doesn't take a strong leadership role, is nothing but a pack full of fossil fuel industry funded leaders and we cannot afford to have that happen. She has always been about protecting the health and safety of every American and she values um, what's right for Americans. The folks that are in this um, pick of cabinet members care nothing about that and only about furthering the agenda of the oil and gas industry. I want to remind um, Senator Collins that earlier she spoke proudly about her s support for several different grants that help innovation move forward here in the state of Maine. I also want to remind you, Senator Collins, that earlier this year, you were up at Bowdoin College and you spoke to a packed room of college students. And while you were there, you reminded them that you were a climate change leader. Your exact words were that you have voted repeatedly to do away with tax breaks for the large oil companies of the country, and that you have supported over and over again the ability of the EPA to advance greenhouse gas emissions policies. Oh, they're just, she's sitting in a chair, like Santa, okay? And you get a chance to say your little piece to her, and she makes a little note, and that's it. I'm talking, I talked about Pruitt. I talked about her, Susan Collins, and hopefully she has grandchildren. She doesn't have any grandchildren. She's got nieces and nephews, though. So. I wanted to speak especially about Pruitt because it's the Environmental Protection Agency, and his, his record is anything but protection. He's a, just a little cheerleader for the fossil fuel industry, and we need to keep fossil fuels in the ground. We've got to move forward with renewables. There's no future in fossil fuels. I came from Kenny Bunk, Maine. Senator Collins, save the day! Make Rex Wilson go away! Senator Collins, save the day! Make Rex Wilson go away! You have a clear decision to make. You either stand with the fossil fuel industry or you stand with the people. So show us now, loud and clear, that you put what's most important first, and that's the people of Maine. Thank you.